Well, hey guys, welcome back to Love Truck Garage. Well, we're not doing brakes this week. We're doing something completely different. Let's go. This next project is something I've wanted to do for a really long time. And I've been waiting all winter to get this thing started. And this crusty old blue truck is just the perfect candidate. Back in the late 70s, I had this 55 Ford with a tilt front end. I've loved tilt front ends ever since, and I've always wanted another one. It just doesn't get any cooler than that. I made this image in Photoshop about 10 years ago, so I've been thinking about this for a pretty long time. With all that being said, I'm going to make this crusty blue truck my test mule. Let's get that front end off of there. I've really done this a few times. Don't forget that PB blaster. For as rusty as these fenders were, it really came apart pretty easy. Most of the bolts came right out. Just check out all the mud and dirt up under these fenders. This truck had Oklahoma plates when I got it, and there's plenty of Oklahoma red dirt up under there. And that cowl under the windshield was pretty nasty. I'm pretty sure this truck was submerged in water for a period of time. There was even a watermark on the seat. The core support, however, is pretty solid. It's uh, got quite a bit of metal left there. I thought it would be rustier than that. I mean, when you compare it to the floor in the cab, uh, it's like a Flintstone mobile in there. Overall, I think the front end is still pretty solid. Not so much for the cab, though. Yeah, you can pretty much check your cab mount from the driver's seat. Uh, this is definitely the rustiest love I've ever owned. Even back here in the bed, it's pretty much flow-through ventilation. So the plan is I'm just going to have some fun with this truck and uh, do a few mods that I've always wanted to do. And we're going to start off with the tilt front end. Alright, let's get this thing cleaned up a little bit. Now the first thing I did was pull the seat out. It's uh, really in pretty good shape. The springs are all good. It just needs a new cover. Then I pulled out the door panels and uh, they're in better shape than most. I just did a quick wipe down and I think they'll clean up real well. Anyway, let's get scrubbing. Let's fire up that pressure washer and blow that Oklahoma off of that truck. Yeah, we're going to blast the inside too. What the heck. Well, that's about as clean as it's going to get. And uh, that dash cleaned up pretty good. Well, definitely made some progress. Uh, looks pretty clean. Right. 
That upper ball joint was packed in mud before. Once it dries up back here, I'm going to cut that core support off right at the firewall. It's going to be a few days. We got a big storm coming in tonight. I'd say it definitely looks better than it did before. As long as I had the pressure washer out, I went ahead and knocked some of the winter off the 4x4. I think my plan for this truck now is to get it running and driving and then I'm going to go ahead and sell it. It would make a good father-son project for somebody else. Well guys, that's going to do it for this video. I do appreciate you watching. We'll get to the carnage in the next video. And uh, please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. And don't forget, t-shirts, hoodies, and trucker hats at lovetruckgarage.com.